Hey everyone, today's tutorial is all about making the magic ring. I will show you in a clear and slow manner how I form my magic rings for my crochet projects. The magic ring is a method of starting a circular crochet piece so that the hole in the center can be pulled tight after the first round is worked. In regular circular crochet, often the piece is started with a chain ring, which gives a beautiful look as well. However, sometimes you don't want that hole to be showing. The magic ring is a method in which we can make that hole disappear like magic. So grab your yarn and your hook of choice and let's make a magic ring. So we take our yarn and we have our cut end here and our working end that runs to the ball. So that's how I will refer to them. You want your palm, whichever hand you're going to use, face up and you're going to lie the cut end facing down towards you and the working end away from you. You're going to hold it in place with your thumb and your index finger and you're going to turn your hand over. You're going to take the working end and wrap two fingers and down holding it in place with this third finger, your ring finger. Then you're going to flip your hand over again and you're going to take this yarn, the working end, and you're going to cross over. So you can just let go of that a little bit. Cross over the yarn that you already have there, holding it in place. Now I hold it where it crosses. Flip your hand over again and go over three fingers and down and hold it in place with your baby finger. So now we have the yarn in place and see I can flip my hand and the yarn doesn't move around because it's being held in place by all the fingers and the thumb. Then I'm going to take my hook and I'm going to go under the first strand and over the second strand and pull it through underneath. I'm going to pivot the hook away from me so that I can get the hook in and under and then I'm going to pivot it back towards me clockwise so that it twists on the hook. So see how it's twisted on there? Then I'm going to go ahead and do my first chain, which means that over top of all the other yarn, you're going to go over and come from the other side of the yarn. So from your wrist side under that second strand that goes to the third finger. And you're going to pull that one through the loop that's on the hook using all your other uh, fingers to give you a little bit of tension. And you pull that one through and that's your chain one. And now I can slide my fingers out. So if you want to grab it with the other hand so you can gently slide your fingers out. And now we have the magic ring ready to work into with our cut end over here and our working end up here. So at the moment, you don't want anything to do with that cut end, but keep the ring open. And we'll go ahead now and you can work anything into this. So the pattern will tell you single crochet, half double crochet or double crochet. We're just going to work six single crochet into this ring. So we're going to insert our hook and we're going to pull through a loop of the working yarn as to single crochet. And then we'll complete that single crochet. So use this hand to maneuver yourself, leaving this ring open. So that's one single crochet. And again, you, you have a few strands here, go under them all, pull through another loop and do another single crochet. So that's two. And we want to do six. So there is three keeping to working into that loop Four, And again, this could be any number. The pattern that you're working with will tell you what to do. And I've got one more that I want to work here. So that's six single crochet into our magic ring. So when the pattern tells you work so many stitches of certain kind into magic ring, that's how you do it. Now we're going to let go of the working yarn and push that to the side, pick up the cut end. And this is the one we're going to pull to cinch up the magic ring. Now leaving my hook in that stitch, because we're going to continue on with the work later, 
I will put my index finger and thumb right where that last stitch is to hold it secure and then gently just pull on this end and it will slowly cinch up your ring. And you don't want to pull too tight yet, just cinch it up there and then take a look at it and kind of readjust it a little and then cinch it up a little bit more. Now you want your thumb and index finger on the center hole and you'll feel it tighten up. So see how it's nice and tight now? The ring completely pulled together. My cut end is here, my working end is here, and then you'll complete it however it tells you. you generally, you either slip stitch or like I do an invisible join, but we can just do a slip stitch. So I would go into that first stitch that I created, the single crochet, and I would just slip stitch to join my ring. And there you are. I'm ready for my next row. That counts as my foundation row or even row one, depending on how your pattern's written. And that is how you do a magic ring. Hopefully that helps you understand the magic ring better. And now you have choices, chain ring or magic ring, depending on the look you'd like to achieve. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel so you catch all my tutorials as they are released. Have a great day and enjoy.